What's going on everyone? In this lesson we're going to be talking about um, linking a custom domain to your blog as well as just different settings that you'll want to have on and whatnot. So the basic settings here are just our title, description, language, um, if it's adult content, which you don't want it to be most usually so you qualify for AdSense and whatnot, um, as well as Google Analytics. So if you want to use Google Analytics you can paste the tracking ID right here to link it. And then the favicon, you're going to want to create a small square image um, that's going to actually see this B here for blogger. It's going to show up like that, but for your own custom logo. So when you have a logo, make sure you um, choose your file and upload it here. So I'm going to cancel that. You're going to want your blog to be available, visible by search engines. And here with publishing, it's we're going to want to... Um, link our custom domain. So if you don't have one, you're going to want to click buy a domain, which is going to let you buy a domain through Google Domains. So let's say I wanted to buy one that relates to Skillshare course. Here we got skillsharecourse.com for $12 a year, and that's going to cost you $1 a month. So that's where I'm getting this pricing from. Original um, dot com domains will cost you about $12 a month through Google domains if they are available. So the easiest way is just to buy them right here and linking them is super, super easy once you do that. So yeah, I recommend definitely going to Google domains through this um, buy a domain link or just going to Google domains on your own and buying a domain so that your blog will show up with a custom myblog.com as opposed to blogger.com or whatever it is now. Next you're going to want to have this HTTPS redirect on which is going to secure your website um, giving it this little um, secured icon so that doesn't uh, warn the user that your website's not secure and give away their data which would be an issue. Permissions, and permissions it's going to let you um, let you let other people write on your blog don't really need to worry about that. You can change the number of Mac posts, max posts shown on the main page. <clears throat> comments, this is just going to let you um, control who comments on your website. So you can set it to users with Google accounts, anyone, or only members of the blog. Um, email, I wouldn't worry about too much about that. That's just going to let you um, use your email to notify people or posts, whatnot. Time zone, I would format it to your time zone. Meta tags, you can um, enable a search description for your website. So we could set it as Skillshare Learning or something like that. It's gonna let people find your website easier. Um, custom redirects, you don't really need to worry about that right now. And then crawlers and indexing, you don't really wanna set these on right now. We don't get into that too much monetization you can enable custom ads if you're going to get ads through third parties but i'd recommend just going for the google adsense to begin with as a beginner privacy oh we went back up to the top let's go back down manage blog um i wouldn't really worry about that right now general and that's about it so you're just going to want to make sure you have the https on it's very important as well as buying a custom domain for 12 dollars from google domains um, that's going to make your blog look a lot more professional and it's a very very um, cheap easy way to have a blog with a custom domain with ads and everything for just one dollar a month so yeah i want you guys to post some screenshots of the blogs you guys create as your class project and I hope you learned something. I definitely recommend using Blogger and following this course to get started to create a successful blog. Um, and just stick with it. That's the only way you're going to grow. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye, everyone.